Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Whale Alert has highlighted an interesting transaction. I'm going to round up here. 400 million XRP, uh, at the time worth about 185 million United States dollars, but 400 million XRP moved from what was initially cited as an unknown wallet to Coinbase. And understandably so, this uh, kind of raise the eyebrows of more than a few XRP community members wondering, well, what does this mean? Is, is, is XRP going to be uh, available for trade again? Is, is Coinbase somehow dumping on the market? Things along these lines. And so I'll, I'll be sharing with you what this actually is because I did indeed get to the bottom of it. And I'll share with you my thought process of what, what I was, like, where my mind was going from the beginning uh, as well. And uh, suffice to say, there's there's nothing weird or shading going on, but it's it's interesting nonetheless. And I'm sure all sorts of people out there are curious as to what the hell is actually going on, and why why the 400 million XRP to this particular Coinbase wallet. Well, I will share with you why. Um, also, I've got this story from crypto media outlet U today. Number of Americans who own crypto might be much higher than you think. Unrelated to the initial story, but interesting nonetheless, and I thought I'd share it with you and provide some perspective because, you know, the, the number of people that have ever held cryptocurrency at any point in their life, it's minuscule. And then if you look at the number of people that have ever held XRP at any point in their life, it's substantially smaller. And so to me, that just represents tremendous opportunity. If XRP indeed is going to uh, persist, if it's going to be viable for the long haul, for decades and perhaps centuries and beyond then uh, just being in at this level could be freaking insane. Now, look, um, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I'm not offering financial advice. And so you definitely should not uh, buy or sell anything because of anything that I say, right? I just think that it's interesting to talk about these topics. Also, if you would please ever so delicately tap the like button, I would appreciate the support because if you do, it will tell the YouTube machine that you don't necessarily completely hate this particular Moon Lambo hot jam. And then YouTube may find other people that it believes has similar interest to you and recommend that they watch this as well. And also, I recommend that you subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel because if you do, you will become more intelligent and more physically attractive. Yes, indeed, tomorrow you will wake up, your IQ will be a number of points higher, dozens of points higher, without any additional effort on your part, you will also absolutely be more physically attractive. For instance, um, if, if you're a man, perhaps you'll end up with like a, a stronger jawline. You know, if you've got some back knee going on, that's going to clear up like lickety split. If you've got a unibrow, say goodbye to that. And if you've got a receding hairline, my friend, you are going to develop a proceeding hairline. And I kid you not, I had one subscriber. He let me know. He's like, my my hairline, it proceeded so much that it was going down the forehead, starting to look all goofy. He had to unsubscribe a few days just to get it to recede a bit. And then he subscribed again and the problem seems to have worked itself out. But... You know, that's the type of stuff that can happen here. So even despite that little hiccup there, there's lots to look forward to here. So I'm, I'm just saying here, something to think about, all right? Let's, um, let's get into this now. So Whale Alert, transactions 400 million XRP. And a shout out to XRP Twin, who uh, brought up this topic, tagged me on Twitter, as well as uh, Paul Grayson Mather. So Paul Grayson Mather is kind of wondering, okay, so 400 million XRP moved to Coinbase, is this Coinbase themselves uh, planning to cash out in uh, some sort of future price pump or they're relisting? Fair enough questions. Um, XRP Twin here wrote, the whales are getting ready to dump. Wonder who in the group of let's pump and hold can counter this little animal, 400 million XRP. And so a crypto brat wrote in response to XRP Twin there, you can't sell, buy, or convert XRP on Coinbase. And so XRP Twin uh, wrote the following in response to CryptoBrat, listing again, question mark, uh, to which CryptoBrat responded. My biggest concern about this whale transfer to Coinbase is the possibility of Coinbase staff or other elites being allowed to secretly trade XRP on the platform. Uh, incoming lawsuit, if that's the case. And so um, I like that uh, individual XRP community members are thinking through this. Uh, my brain went somewhere else because here's the way that I looked at, at it. And I understand why people are asking these questions. Totally legit to bring this up. Uh, but my initial gut reaction, even before researching and getting to the final answer of all this, I was like, well, okay, uh, transferring to Coinbase, 
Um, you know, you talk about this idea of people being able to, like, a secret elites being able to trade on Coinbase. We got to understand that if, if there's, like, a handful of people, like, whether it's two or three or four or five or ten people, like, that's, that's like, no liquidity. There's almost nobody to trade with that wouldn't really functionally work. So then you could say, okay, but... Moon Lambo, what about over-the-counter purchases? For those of you not in the know, over-the-counter purchases uh, are designed for, for purchases uh, that, are, that are larger than normal. For instance, I know that on Binance US, they state, hey, if you're going to spend more than $10,000 in a single purchase, come to us and we can sell you direct. And, um, and, and so for really big institutions, like say you want to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on a cryptocurrency, but you don't really want to sway the market, instead of purchasing on exchange yourself, because that would, I mean, you could imagine what that would do to the price of any cryptocurrency if you, if you start snatching it up. Uh, instead of doing that, you can purchase from cryptocurrency exchanges directly. It's called over-the-counter. And that way, the price action, is, although it would be tracked on the blockchain, it wouldn't be visible on cryptocurrency exchanges. So in the moment it's happening, nobody would even know it's happening, right? And so eventually... Uh, the supply demand dynamics would work itself out because, you know, like if, if, if there's X amount of a cryptocurrency, whether it's XRP or Bitcoin, it's now off the market. And if it's off the market, then people have less cryptocurrency of that, you know, whether it's, again, Bitcoin, XRP, they have less of that to fight over on exchanges. It's just supply and demand dynamics. So ultimately, individuals, even if they purchase over the counter, yeah, it's true that in the short term, it doesn't affect price. But in the long term, absolutely, it does. Every single buy and sell absolutely uh, impacts the, the price here. And so you could say, you know, maybe it's the case that uh, that, that there, you know, there are going to be these elites, say, if you want to call them the elites, that are going to be able to purchase OTC from Coinbase. But you got to understand, look at it from the, from Coinbase's perspective. It's not like they wanted to give up the trading of XRP. You know, all the can you imagine, all the trading fees that they are foregoing by giving this up. That's not a good business move. They want to make money on the buying and selling of XRP, but from a legal perspective, it's not safe to. And that's why you saw the vast majority of United States exchanges, for now anyway, halt the trading of XRP. And so if they allowed it for elites, whether it's one person or a thousand people, they're still in freaking trouble. So I, I just, I don't imagine that there would be some sort of secret over-the-counter transaction. If these people are so elite, you know, they can go and purchase over-the-counter at a United States exchange that allows it, like, you know, Uphold. I don't, I don't know for sure what the threshold would be to purchase OTC from Uphold. I, I, I suspect they would offer it. But then there's also BitTrue and GateHub. So, you know, I, I don't think that would be the case. I can understand why somebody might be questioning along these lines. Um, as far as it getting listed again, I don't think that you're going to see that until there's regulatory clarity around XRP. So that's why I'm thankful that there at least are a few exchanges that are, are sticking with us for, uh, for the long haul, right? And then um, as far as the idea of, uh, of them trying to, like, take advantage of this pump, like... like what are they going to do? Like sell it, sell it to themselves? Like, <laughs> you know, um, you, they need to sell it to another entity. Like if Coinbase were trying to take advantage of this, they they need to sell it to somebody else, right? Or maybe, you know, like who would that be? So like they can't sell on their exchange. So it's like they'd have to move it to a different exchange, in which case it wouldn't be going to a Coinbase wallet. So either way, like to me, that didn't really uh, seem like a reasonable response either. So what actually did happen? Well, Tell you what, you can go to the actual whale alert transaction, which is on the screen right here. And um, and you've got the, um, oh, where was I looking here? Uh, yeah, here you go. So you've got the actual wallet address. So then you can just click on this right here. You can see to and from. And it's pretty easy to figure out actually what happened here. Uh, here is, yeah, here you go. Here, so here's the account that it went from. You can see, um, uh, and it was listed as an unknown wallet the way that uh, whale transfer pulled it up for some reason you can see like here's the screen grab even it said 400 million xrp transferred from unknown wallet to coinbase they're like unknown where'd that come from well i don't know why it says unknown there it, it, it clearly has something to do with the way in which that information is pulled uh from the the, the xrp ledger uh, but if you go here here on the here's the transaction on bithump you can see um if you, uh, well, first of all, you can click on the the, uh, the address here. You can see the source and the destination. So if you click on the source, uh, you can see that it was activated by Coinbase. And if you go to the destination, you can see that it's Coinbase. So all that happened here was, was Coinbase moved their, uh, their, their XRP from one wallet to another. And this is actually a fairly common practice for all sorts of cryptocurrency exchanges out there. 
Um, and, and I don't know the technical reasons for it, but just in a general sense, it has something to do with security, the, the rotation of, you know, what is, is stored where, and, you know, maybe it has something to do with, you know, just making sure that you don't have X amount of a crypto, in this case, XRP, uh, with, you know, the same private keys for some set period of time. I don't know what the protocols are. I'm, I'm just saying that typically you, you do see these things and it, it always catches people's attention, but uh, there's there's nothing weird or shady going on here. I, I think it's just, uh, this part is a little bit of speculation, but it's an educated guess for sure. It's going to have something to do with security here and no big deal. Now, I did find this kind of interesting too. So I'm guessing that this is a wallet the way that Coinbase structures, as most, most exchanges do this, for those of you not in the know. They... Uh, like, uh, and I first learned this on Binance. So you may know that if you set up your own XRP wallet, there's a 20 XRP reserve that can't, that, that gets, it's just stuck forever, you know? And technically that amount can be adjusted. Like say XRP is worth bazillion, bazillion dollars in the future, while maybe having 20 XRP stuck is a lot. And then validators can vote to change that, which has happened by the way. Um, originally the reserve amount, I don't remember exactly what it was. It may have been like 300 or 500, but it had been reduced since then, uh, down to 20. And so, um, you know, uh, just there's this idea of like uh so how the hell is it that i i was asking this years ago when i was using binance how was i able to remove all of my xrp from the account and the answer is my xrp was not in my like my own private uh, account it was on a publicly shared account and then uh, there's a destination tag which indicates for lack of a better term your little sub address um within that address you know uh, and so uh, as a result even if you take all of your xrp that's Based on it, you know, on, on, you know the the, uh, the amount of XRP that's in the account with your destination tag attack uh, attached. Even if you take all that out, well, there are all sorts of other humans in there that have the same address, but just dis different destination tags. So as long as there's 20 XRP in there, you can remove all of yours, which is kind of a benefit. So that way, if you're using an exchange and it's a shared wallet, your 20 XRP isn't locked up on exchange. Kind of snazzy in that sense here. Um, so if Coinbase is doing the same thing, uh, then you could see here, look, look at all these transactions going to other exchanges. Like here's a here's a XRP going to Uphold. Here's another transaction going to Uphold. Another one going to Uphold. Another going to BitTrue. And these are exchanges in the, that uh, allow for trading in the United States. So that's not surprising to me. So um, I certainly just suspect it's the case that this is a shared address. Uh, they rotated it for reasons I don't know. And I'm guessing that these are individual users uh, moving to their accounts on different cryptocurrency exchanges where XRP is still traded. And in going down, you just like there's just endless quantities, uh, tons of little transactions, like smaller transactions than I'd ever expect Coinbase to make. But going to, uh, to uh, you know, other exchanges, especially Uphold, you know, there's tons of Uphold transactions. Just So a ton of XRP is leaving, uh, is leaving Coinbase. And so, and maybe it's the case also that as, as people continue to remove their uh, their XRP from Coinbase, it could certainly also be the case that they didn't have enough in uh, in uh, like in a hot wallet. They had a bunch in cold stores, needed to move it to a hot wallet, and uh, in order to be able to make sure there's enough funds, maybe, maybe that's what happened too. So again, I admit all all of that portion of it speculation. So it's either that or security or a blend of the two, but that's certainly what it, it looks like to me. Um, now into this next piece from you today, number of Americans who own crypto might be much higher than you think. According to a recent tweet posted by Coinbase co-founder Fred Ersom, a whopping 10% of people now own cryptocurrencies in the United States. That means roughly 33% Oh, I'm sorry, 33 million rather Americans have purchased crypto, which appears to be an incredibly large number. And by the way, I don't remember where I saw this, but I want to mention it. And I know I covered it on the channel. I previously saw a number where it was like 15% of, uh, of Americans had uh, purchased cryptocurrency, which would be more, more in the neighborhood of like 50 million. And I was like, well, that's that's really high. So it's I don't know what I can trust for sure. I see these numbers. Maybe it's somewhere around one of those numbers. I don't know. But either way, that's a lot more than what I had initially guessed. And so um, since uh, Ersum's petty tweet didn't include a link to any survey that would back up his claim, many took the aforementioned data with a pinch of salt. According to Coin, uh, a Coinbase survey that was published back in 2019, 58% of Americans were aware of Bitcoin. Uh, California, New Jersey, and Washington were named as the states within uh, the level of participation in the cryptocurrency economy. And meanwhile, Delaware had the largest amount of crypto per one user. And so it's it's just interesting to see like where we are right now, you know it's it's about the number and I've been sharing this on the channel lately because it's a good point to continue to drive home for those of you that hadn't heard it in particular, the estimate is about 1.2 percent of humans 
uh, on the planet today have ever at any one point in time held a cryptocurrency. And usually uh, Bitcoin's uh, you know, the, the start for most people anyway. And uh, so just 1.2% and you already see these prices. It's, it's insane where we're at. You know, the fact that you know, Bitcoin got over $40,000 with, with so few humans doing it. And um, it's the institutions that have lately been pushing the price up. But then you think about XRP. Well, XRP ran up to almost $4 last market cycle with 0.0015% of humans, humans having ever held it. That's all it took. That's why these people, when they say, oh my God, it's a, a billion XRP, it's too much. I'm like, no, no, no. Shut your damn lips. No, I'm like, no, that'd be rude. I'd be like, I'd be like shh, 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 baby girl, baby girl, just hush them lips. Just hush, hush them beautiful lips, baby girl. Let me explain something to you. Which is simply that, roughly 0.0015% of humans during the last market cycle had ever held XRP and the price still went that high. So what's going to happen when you see true mass adoption? Like, what if, what if, what if we get to a point where 1% of humans... Not just, uh, you know, had purchased a cryptocurrency. What if 1% of humans on the planet had uh, had purchased XRP? You know, from 0.0015% to 1%. Like, what if? You know, because and, and, look, for the cryptocurrencies that are going to have true staying power, I think there are going to be all sorts of coins that will have multi-trillion dollar asset class, or, or caps rather. Multi-trillion dollar market caps, I suspect. So I don't know what's going to happen. There's, you know, I don't pretend to, but it's just really interesting to think through with so few people having ever jumped in and find so like a bigger percentage in first world country, United States, fine. But as more people come on board with crypto, what's it going to look like? We are here early. And so that's why I wanted to stress this. It's anybody that feels like they're late to the party. No, you are early to the party. My friend, the party hadn't even started yet. Not really. Even though the asset class has been around 12 years. That's my humble opinion with a weird emphasis on the Solopolis. But I'll wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.